This will sound very strange, but David Blaine and his electrified Tesla coils stunt is a prophecy that is predicting that Kamala Harris will die in a plane crash that will be caused due to a bird strike in St. Louis on precisely January 31st, 2023. The date that this video is posted proves that this prediction was made ahead of time, as does this time-stamped email and Forensic Notes PDF. If you are skeptical, please email me and I will forward these to you. It is also predicted that famous actor James Earl Jones, the voice of the Lion King, and the voice of Darth Vader, will die on April 11th, 70 days after it is predicted that Kamala Harris will die in a plane crash. At this time, there is zero news regarding James Earl Jones's health. Here is the email and forensic notes PDF document that prove that this prediction was made ahead of time. Some of the videos on this channel have a few minutes of introductory information that is the same as other videos. This particular video has over 50 minutes of introductory information, and if you have already watched this 56 minutes of information, you can skip ahead to minute 56. After Harris's death, she will be replaced by Michelle Obama, and soon after, Barack Obama will replace Michelle. This is the reason why Kamala Harris will die in a plane crash. It is so that Barack Obama can become the president again. It is predicted that Michelle Obama will very soon become the 47th president, and soon after that, Barack Obama will become the 48th president. In the Bible, a goat is symbolism for the Antichrist. In pop culture, goat stands for greatest of all time. Kamala Harris will die in a plane crash after her plane's engine will suffer a bird strike. As a result, the GOAT Antichrist will come to power. The GOAT of college football coaching died at the age of 61 and was born in 1961. The GOAT Antichrist was born in 1961 and will become the president again and the Antichrist at the age of 61. Coach Mike Leach won 84 games with the Texas Tech Raiders, and this year when he died at the age of 61, his team had a record of 8-4. and four. The GOAT Antichrist was born on the date 8-4 in 1961. Kamala Harris is the 49th U.S. Vice President. 49 days hints at the 49th Vice President, which is why the 49th Vice President will die 49 days after the GOAT of college football coaching died. Coach Mike Leach was famous for his revolutionary air raid style of offense, and he was also famous for coincidentally coaching the Texas Tech Red Raiders. The name Air Raid hints at a bird strike of Kamala Harris's airplane. The Air Raid coach died 96 days after the Queen of England died at the age of 96 as a result of Kamala Harris's death in a plane crash due to a bird strike. Michelle Obama will become the Queen of America. Michelle Obama will return to the White House as a result of the 49th Vice President's death in a plane crash due to a bird strike that will be 49 days after the death of the air raid coach, which in turn was 97 days after she returned to the White House for the unveiling of her portrait on the date September 7th, which is 9-7 and hints at 97, because 97 is the 25th prime number and the 25th amendment will be used to make her the president, and then the 25th amendment will be used to make her husband the president again. Michelle Obama will replace the 49th U.S. Vice President and then become the president as a result of the death of the 49th vice president in a plane crash caused by a bird strike, which will be 49 days after the death of the air raid coach. And this was in turn exactly 49 months after her book Becoming was released because she will become the president. 
Michelle Obama will become the first female president and the 47th president as a result of Kamala Harris's death in a plane crash that will be 49 days after the death of the GOAT of college football coaching, the Air Raid coach, which in turn was exactly 47 weeks after the death of Lucia Harris, the queen of basketball, who was the first and only woman to be drafted by the NBA, and Michelle Obama will replace Kamala Harris, the first female vice president, and then become the first female president, the 47th president, and her husband is the basketball president, the death of the GOAT of college football coaching, the air raid coach, which hints at the bird strike of Kamala Harris's airplane, died exactly 1109 weeks after the air raid on the Twin Towers and the Pentagon on 9-11 in 2001. The number 1109 hints at 110 and 9. God pairs the numbers 110 and 9 together to point to the 110 floors of the Twin Towers that collapsed and George Washington's walk down Wall Street after his first inauguration at Federal Hall and into the church that was the only building at Ground Zero to have survived the falling debris due to the uprooted sycamore tree that sheltered and protected Trinity Church. In God's judgment warning to ancient Israel in the book of the prophet Isaiah 9:11, says that the buildings have collapsed and the sycamore trees have been uprooted. In what today is known as the Miracle Chapel, George Washington consecrated the nation to God, saying that if the nation were to ever turn away from God, it would lose its divine protection and blessings. Wall Street is named after the nine-foot-high wall of security that the Dutch built to keep the British and the Indians out. And in the Bible, Joshua died at the age of 110, and he led the Hebrews around the walls of security before they collapsed in God's judgment. And Joshua and the Hebrews crossed the Jordan River into the Promised Land on the date 110 in the Hebrew calendar, which hints at the number 110. God pairs the numbers 110 and 9 together to symbolize all of this. And Joshua is a type for Jesus, and Jesus' first coming was officially on the date 110 in the Hebrew calendar. Two towers that were each 110 stories high is symbolism for Jesus' second coming. That God pairs 9 and 110 together to point to 9-11 is the reason why the iconic Air Force plane in the collapse of Afghanistan on the prophetic 20th anniversary of the collapsed 110-story buildings on 9-11 was number 1109, which hints at 110 and 9. Barack Obama will become the president again as a result of the death of Kamala Harris in a plane crash, which is predicted to be 49 days after the death of the air raid coach, which was exactly 1109 weeks after the air raid of the planes into the Twin Towers on 9-11. Barack Obama will become the president again as a result of the death of Kamala Harris in a plane crash, which is predicted to be 49 days after the death of the air raid coach, which was exactly 90,011 days after the nation was born on July 4th, 1776. America will lose its independence 90,011 days after it established its independence. 90,011 days hints at the judgment warning for the nation in 2001 on 9-11. It is now believed that Kamala Harris's plane will crash on her return flight from Los Angeles to Washington, D.C. And although it was learned in October that her crash would be in St. Louis, it was discovered in December that a flight from her home in Los Angeles in California across the country back to Washington, D.C., this flight path will cross directly over St. Louis. It was also realized that her plane crash in St. Louis will parallel the book of Isaiah chapter 31 verse 4. And because I used to have a friend that lived in St. Louis, I recalled that the area code for St. Louis is 314. 
Isaiah 31, 4 says that the Lord will come down like a lion and a young lion that is growling over its prey and like birds hovering. In the movie The Lion King, there is a lion and a young lion, and it is believed that the Lord will bring down Kamala Harris's airplane will come down as it is flying over St. Louis due to turbulence, which will parallel the lion and the young lion growling in Isaiah 31.4. Turbulence will be symbolism for a lion's roar. A lion's roar is air vibrations, as is turbulence. As a result of this lion's roar turbulence, her plane will attempt to make a landing in St. Louis, at which time her plane will be struck by a hovering bird. James Earl Jones, the voice of the Lion King, is symbolism for the lion's roar. In the Bible, a lion is symbolism for Jesus Christ. It is predicted that James Earl Jones, the voice of the Lion King, will die on April 11th, the calendar date that Jesus was crucified on, and this will be 70 days after it is predicted that Kamala Harris will die in a plane crash due to turbulence, which is symbolism for a lion's roar, in St. Louis, a city that is connected to by the I-70 highway and over which passed the path of totality of the Great American Eclipse, which was 70 miles wide. And astronomers calculate eclipses and the path of totality of eclipses using the number pi, which is symbolized by 3.14 and hints at Isaiah chapter 31.4. Kamala Harris will die in a plane crash in the city with the area code 314 after her plane experiences turbulence, which is symbolism for a lion's roar. And 70 days after this, it is predicted that the voice of the Lion King will die. And this will be on her flight across the country, a flight path that goes over St. Louis. And the I-70 highway, which goes from the west coast to the east coast, and the 70-mile-wide path of totality of the Great American Eclipse, which are paths that cross the country, hint at Kamala Harris's flight path across the country. This video is also predicting that there will be a catastrophic asteroid hit on Earth on September 2nd, 2023. This will be a fulfillment of what is described in the book of Revelation in the Bible in chapter 8. It has been known since the autumn of 2020 that she will die in a plane crash. But as can be seen here in this email, it was known since August of 2021. Some social media sites have a maximum length for videos that can be posted, and so I need to cut this video into two parts. Click on the link to watch the remainder of this video. You can also find this link in the description box below this video. Make sure you watch the remainder of this extremely important video that is posted on a different channel than the one you are watching now. The link to the rest of this video is in the description box below this video. Hopefully you at least found this introduction video to be interesting, and if so, please leave a like and upvote the video, and please consider sharing the video.